Hi, I'm John, and today I'm going to be talking about something just real impromptu because um, I started thinking about this over the last couple of days, and I mentioned something in a previous video, I think the most recent video, that I talked about uh, a little bit about co-pilot and um, how bad of an idea I thought it was, but I'm going to expand on that a little bit. Uh, Copilot is Microsoft's AI companion, um, called Copilot, obviously. And when you go to copilot.microsoft.com, I will say something that they did that some of the other uh, AI generation tools um, don't have. And it's just a real, frankly, a real nice central location. If you want to go to Copilot, you can. You can have Designer. Uh, they have all these GPTs that are organized, a vacation planner, a uh, cooking assistant. Um, but some of these uh, questions that, <clears throat> excuse me, they start asking, uh, what are some ways to overcome procrastination? And the AI is going to give you that. And then uh, I like this one, compose a folk song about legendary adventures on the high seas. I mean, some of it's interesting that you can create some things. I'm, I'm not going to say that it's never used by myself. Um, this particular thing I have not used, Copilot, I haven't used, and I'm really intending on not using it because I just don't like the idea of what Microsoft's trying to do. Uh, but this goes for any kind of AI. But what really becomes the issue for me is uh, the Copilot Plus PCs. And uh, this is uh, uh, the Microsoft website, once again, talking about um, Copilot Plus PC, where you buy the, um, the PC and it has uh, an, an, what's called an NPU, um, neural processing unit, something like that. And you will have access to 45 tri uh, trillion operations per second to work with. Well... I don't know about you, but most of the time the average user doesn't need 45 trillion operations per second. It, it just does. We don't function that way. I mean, uh, unless somebody's doing some, some really intensive computing work, um, modeling or something like that, uh, even then I, I don't think you need this. So, the idea behind this is to have something called recall more than anything else. Um, and here they, they talk about shopping for it and so forth. Here's all the different notebooks you can get it on. Um, but you got to have this chip in, in using it. Uh, but what they don't really talk about, well, here they do talk about recall. Uh, recall is the ability, um, for your operating system to uh, take screenshots of your uh, PC. And I, I've heard it said on one website, on the Best Buy website, uh, with their promo video. I'm not saying Best Buy did the promo video. I think it was Microsoft. But they said that every couple of minutes, it was going to take a snapshot and then do OCR on it so that you could search for it at any time uh, having a, a complete recall of whatever you've done on your PC. Uh, but I've heard other things too. I've heard that it's a few, every few seconds it'll take something. Uh, this brings in a whole lot of security issues. Uh, I would never buy one of these computers, ever. Uh, in fact, it almost makes me want to go back to building my own PCs again. Uh, my own desktops, and I may do that on my next one. Um, but the idea that you have to have something that gives you um, what's called a recall like this, um, I, th I think is a little bit ridiculous because most of the time, like um, I use on my Linux PC, I use uh, Catfish and search for files. I can search within files. You know, it's really fast, and I didn't need a really specialized PC to do it. 
the danger in this is it'll keep all this data and it says, well, it's all going to be private and everything like that. But what happens, and this sounds really paranoid, but I, I don't trust my government. Uh, what happens if the uh, three-letter agency says, well, we think he's been talking to somebody who's unsavory, so we want to see all his data. I think they have an agreement with these different companies like Google and Microsoft um, to ask for that information, and they readily give it up, I think, on a user. Uh, it's not, you know, it's, it's a violation of, uh, of our privacy. So why a person would have this uh, on their PC is beyond me. Um, and maybe I'm just too old fashioned, but, uh, think about all the different things you do on your PC. Suppose you have an email with a customer like I might, and, uh, I take down some information and their credit card number is on there. Well, it's going to take a picture of that person's credit card, um, and, and store it. I, I don't want that. And, of course, you could put this to the cloud, too. Um, but doing it either way doesn't make any sense. It, it is a loss of privacy and a loss of security, especially for people if you're doing business. And think about it. Suppose you have a private conversation with a personal friend and you want to say, hey, um, I wanted to tell you that... Uh, I have this relative die, and I'm really feeling sad and everything like that. Does your PC need to know that and have total recall on that? Uh, does a big corporate entity need to have that ability to gain that information? No. Um, it's, it's ridiculous because this is not made for the end user. It's made for the AI that's going to use your PC. I mean, think about that. It's not made for you. It's made so that this AI engine can work uh, faster and quicker on your PC. It, it doesn't really help you in your everyday computing too much, I don't think. Um, it, one of the things it says here, uh, uniquely designed for secure AI performance, Copilot PCs, Safeguard your most sensitive information so you can be in control of protecting what's yours. Yeah, right. Uh, these big tech companies, uh, if the government requests it, uh, can divulge all your information if you're keeping this. And even if you're doing nothing wrong, uh, I that's my private information. It has nothing to do uh, with anything else. I, I can't imagine a person wanting to have this looking over their shoulder constantly. Uh, this whole thing stinks. Uh, stinks to high heaven. And uh, let's see. Let's go to the uh, Best Buy website because they're starting to market this as an offering. I'm never going to buy this. Never, never, never. Um, so uh, one of the things that they're doing... <laughs> Um, reward members get a free 50-inch TV with pur purchase. Uh, and uh, I, I think that tells you something about wanting to get you to use this. Uh, I think it's going to have some stiff uh, backlash. Um, think about it, people. <laughs> I don't think we want this. I know I don't, and I will never use this. They can, they can pound sand, and uh, I'll build my own PC and put Linux on it and be secure. And the truth is, I, I won't have anything that is uh, uh, divulged to anybody I don't want to. I'm not saying that they're sending this stuff all the time, uh, but they can send it to the cloud, and they do have access uh, if they need to uh, through backdoors. So... Uh, not a good thing. And um, I think they had, oh, yeah, they had this, uh, let's see. 
Let's watch this video. I think I've got it on mute. Let's make sure I do. Uh, I think they come out with the big music, but I'm pretty sure I got the desktop audio. Uh, yeah. So it's got this real booming music. Um, find things you've seen with recall. Scroll through your timeline. Um, search for something, documents, whatever. Um, snapshots. Helps you recall uh, previous work. Uh, what this smacks of is that this PC no longer is serving you, but it's serving something else. And it violates your privacy. That's what recall says to me. Let's see uh, what this one is. I think this is just the NPU video. Of course, you got to have Windows 11. Uh, no thanks for the new era of AI. I don't want it. So there's your NPU. Next generation technology. I don't doubt about I have no doubt about it. So 45 trillion operations per second. I'm not sure what the average user would need that for. And the truth be told, if you're willing to wait a couple more seconds, you can get uh, stuff done with AI without having to have this NPU. So there's a woman, powerful new possibilities. Um, well, people working on stuff. There's the NPU again. And, uh, you know, it's a good looking computer and things like that. And if you don't have any artistic talent, well, there you go. And uh, let's see, get to the end of it here. There's a guy, uh, gal, another gal, dude, a uh, couple of uh, same sex couples. Uh, you just got to do that too because you got to be woke, right? So I'm never going to use this, not in a million years. And, uh, you know, I think there's a place for AI, but this is not the place. And getting inside of your PC uh, to see everything that you're doing and keep track of everything that you've ever done, I think is, uh, is overkill. You don't need this. If you're an average user, you wouldn't need this. Even if you're a power user, you don't need this. I, I don't know who this is for, but uh, that's just my opinion. It's a bad idea. Um, once again, Microsoft comes up with bad ideas and ways to be intrusive into your life. Uh, I would say this. Do what I did. Dump Microsoft. Go to Linux. And you're not going to have any of these problems anymore. But I wouldn't even buy this PC with the NPU unit <clears throat> uh, on it, even putting Linux on there. That's why I say... Um, I'll build my own desktop PC, access it remotely if I need to. Uh, if I don't have it on a laptop, I, I don't want to uh, be a part of this ecosystem. Your PC is, with this, your PC has never become less private. It's never become more intrusive. And it's never become less yours, if that makes any sense. So I use Linux. I stay away from Microsoft completely. I stay away from Google as much as I can. Uh, it's, you know, all these things are intrusive and they want to find out, you know, this is going to use some kind of algorithm to serve certain things up to you, uh, to curate things for you. And I don't think that's good either. I think we need um, uh, diversity of thought, of... of um, all sorts of different ideas that we take in. But we as a person can, can sort through those, uh, whether we agree with them or not. But I don't need a computer to curate things for me, and I certainly don't need this. So anyway, um, that's just a rambling of uh, what I think about this on its first blush. Uh, I hope it tanks horribly, and I hope Microsoft... Uh, uh, shrivels up and goes out of business. That would be good. Anyway, that's it, and uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Take it easy.
拜。